Okay guys, so welcome back. So continuing on from our element series where we've done tests in the past, showed you guys sort of downwind, sidewinds, different shots. We, we want to talk a little bit today about uh, flighting wedges yeah. into and downwind. Exactly. And, and kind of what some of the things that you guys really need to be aware of with re regards to what the ball does uh, when we when we kind of change directions. Well, the thing is when you get like 110 yards and in, I yeah. think most people are used to picking a club they know goes that distance, making a full swing and hitting the green. Correct. But when you're you know, way into the wind or way downwind, mm. you may actually start missing greens from that yardage yeah. and it might play in your mind. You might be just making the wrong club selection or you're not aware of how the ball is mm -hmm. coming in, but it makes the shot so much more difficult. It really, really does. One of the things that I used to always see playing in pro-ams with, with uh, my amateur playing partners were they would just change, they'd keep the same club mm. and they would hit it either harder or, or hit it softer. And, and not really factoring into the fact that the increased sort of club head speed and that sort of thing just makes the ball go up so much right. more. So you would, they would never sort of get the right distance control. So, you know, really sort of compounding their, their errors when For they've sure. got short clubs in their hands. Absolutely. Uh, and, and I think today we're going to see that. So we've set the, the, the target out there at 100 yards, Matty. Uh, we're going to do a 12 mile an hour wind, which doesn't sound like much, but no. But it's we were talking about it's about 20 kilometers. Yeah. Um, and usually when it's 20 kilometers on the sort of the weather forecast, it's a windy day to play golf. Right. It's not crazy, but it's still pretty windy. Absolutely. Uh, one thing, guys, just just to kind of note is, is a little nugget for for um, people who do play in the wind quite a bit. And if you do, you probably already know this, but. Um, we are not dealing with a one-to-one -one ratio of the effect of the wind mm. uh, when playing in it. So it doesn't, so say we've got one club wind downwind. Mm -hmm. So we're, we normally hit a nine, uh, today we're gonna hit a wedge. That wind coming back the other way mm. is a two club wind when it's into your face. Yes, at least, it, and depending on your ball flight, I would assume it, too. Absolutely, right? and your spin rates, and, and you know we see players who are lower spin players yep. can, can kind of hit it through the wind a little easier. Players who are very high spin, high spin have to really kind of club down mm -hmm. uh, in order to take loft away. So right. that's something to be aware of. So, you know, that little nugget again, if you're into the wind, it will hurt you twice as much as it will help Definitely. you. Definitely. Yeah, okay. and, and I think we'll see that pretty clearly from yeah, the numbers. Exactly. Okay, well, let's, let's just let's get into hitting a few because yeah. I think it will all make more sense once sure. we hit a few. Sounds good. Um, all right, so, so we'll straight away, Matty, we've got you... Uh, into the wind, 100 yards. Okay. So what, what do you think, knowing you know my swing pretty well, what mm -hmm. club would I start with from this yardage with that amount of wind? I think 12 miles an hour, you're going to have to hit the shot roughly about 125 to 130 right. okay. I, I, in, in normalized conditions. Yep. So I, I think there's, there's going to be about yeah, 25 yards of, of hurting wind there. So I'll, I'll just go with my 50 and make like a smooth, regular yeah. swing. That's just about the yardage. Just through there. I mean, look at the, how much the, the wind is pushing that golf ball up straight that is away. Straight up in the air. I mean, your number was pretty good. Yeah, it was. Fractionally open uh, club face, but. Normalized number was 124. That was better. 125 normalized. Okay, so we're, we're about that, that number when we've got about 22, 23 yard of difference. So this is where we start to see uh, the effects of the elements, Matty. Yeah. So um, the angle of descent, the, the angle the ball is coming into this green at is, is so steep. Um, so we're, we're really dropping and, and kind of actually getting a little bit of backup from it. Right. Um, spinning at about 9400, which is fine. Yeah, so, so it's just it's really just a, a, a distance penalty for this club to the tune of about, what do you normally hit this club, 120? 125 or so. Five? Okay, so about yeah. 21 yards. And so roughly. earlier you told me a pitching wedge on tour, descending angle is about 52. 52 is the average angle of descent. So we're looking at wedge. 13 degrees steeper, which is a lot. It's yeah, a because the ball is being pushed up yeah. and then obviously dropping much, steep. much more steep. So gotcha. um, those two look, look good. Um, yeah, those are uh, pretty, pretty stock. much as good as I'll hit it, yeah. Okay, so let's... Uh, Let's go the other way. Let's flip this wind around. So what I would do in this situation when, um, when I'm thinking about hitting probably about a 
85, maybe 90 yard shot at most. Knowing it's mm -hmm. going to come in lower, it'll probably skip on a firm green. Yep. Um, I would hit my 50 again, but I would, I would hit sort of my, like I have some stock half swings. Right. So I would try to hit a shot like 80 yards that are 85 yards. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I mean, we, we're, like we said, we're, we're, going about, we're going to get about half as much help right. as, we, as we felt in the hurt. So, um, yeah. Planning if, for 90, the, uh, about 90 yards. About though. 90 will be, okay. be a really nice, uh, nice partial okay. wedge. Let me try to do that. Okay. I, think, that, I nice. think that's it. Yeah. I think that's it. That was 95 normalized. Yeah, really like that. That's good too. I mean, this is, this is such a perfect example of when you have to understand your trajectories if you want to be able to get at flags. I mean, yeah. you know, people can make fun of Tiger. Yeah. You know, trage and, and know. you know all this sort of stuff. But this is this right. is what makes the difference. So, mm -hmm. it, realistically, with that pin position on that screen, if we can see where that is, it's got front right, mm -hmm. you you cannot get at that pin with this club on that trajectory. Totally different shot would be necessary if I wanted to leave it to like four feet. Hundred percent. And then it's not a safe shot. Like yeah. I think this shot, the reason I, I go to it for this is I know it'll fly around, you know, 90, 95 yards. It'll roll out, you know, probably another five or so. Yeah. If you start going at the pin, I think you have to introduce a lot more spin to the shot and probably a higher lofted wedge. And then you've got the variance of what the wind will do to it. Yeah. Well, look at that right there. So you've got on those, um, half. Uh, your, your <laughs> trajectory has halved. That's amazing. Um, and, and you're still carrying at the same number. Yeah. You've dropped about 2000 RPM in spin. Okay. Launch has come down a little bit. You've had to hit it softer. That's one of the reasons spin has came down. Right. I mean, there's so many things at play here. Um, it's cool. At why that is happening. Now, yeah. let's look at what needs to happen to get close to that pin. Okay. So you, you need to change that scenario. You have to increase, and it's nothing to do with the spin because, you know, the, the, it's so down when you can't hit it hard enough to spin it at yeah. this point. You have to get the launch to do the stop for you. Okay. So you have to get angle of descent. So you hit the ball higher. You have to hit it a little bit higher. So what club is that you've got there? So this is a 50. Right. So go to you've got to go to your most lofted so my wedge. Most lofted wedge is yep. a 58. Mm -hmm. And so how how do I hit? Well, like what do you recommend? I'm hitting this shot. Is it is it gonna push because it's so high? I'm gonna get lots of help. It, you'll get some help. So let's look at this. Um, let's see in that last one. So 103, your normalized number was what? 90? It's like they were mostly around 95, 94. Okay, like so that. you're gonna have to try to hit this one. Yeah, I would say, do you know what? Try for, try for 95 again. You're just Hot. gonna have a higher trajectory. Okay. okay. So this will be a little bit of a challenge. What I'll try, I think, is I'll, I'll grip low to take some, do you recommend that just to take some yardage off? Grip it lower to take some of the club head speed away? I would actually, so on, on this one, I would control sort of your, just your, your sort of speed. Your, it's really, it's so much a dynamic loft. You right. really so have to So you need to, to have, add some loft. You have to okay. add some loft to it. Let me so. try my best. But this is exactly what you're talking about. This is so much harder. Like, I'm not going to screw up that other shot. Yeah. I'm not going to screw that up. No. I'll no, hit the green. Safe. I won't embarrass myself. Yeah. But this is, this is tough, right? But this is, this is US Open time. Yeah. You've got to make birdie. Tiger's got it in the clubhouse. I know. Level with you, and you've got to get up hit and that down shot. for the birdie. And you've got these on US Open conditions, these greens. That's right. That. Okay, so a 95 yard spinning wedge. Wasn't hit super clean. But Tiger's won. But I got away with it. <laughs> <laughs> so the, now the difference is I have to land it right of the pin because there's a ridge. There's a big ridge there. Because that shot looked Did a lot better that. than it ended up. Now that was, that was excellent though. Um, in the sense that you were able to, you know, create more elevation, you got the launch up, you yep. got the spin up, but again, the, the wind being behind you, it flattened out the trajectory so much. 70 feet is, is low. For me, for uh -huh. me, 70 feet is quite Absolutely. low. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So, all right. So you're going to have to go a little bit. A little brave on the right let's, side. Let's see where the, let's give you a look at where the flag is here. Okay. So bring the flag out. So there's your gotcha. line. Okay. All right. Let's try that again. Oh, I think it swung too hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hit it so good though. But that's flushed it. That's what you're gonna deal with. That is a hard, hard shot. 
So I did the correct things, but yeah. hammered so it. So ball speed was just a little bit quick there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. One more. Love the trajectory of that one, though. That was the right feel, wasn't it? Yeah. So we're gonna. We well, got 58. Yeah, 58, 58 degree wedge. Degree, yeah. You're gonna hit this guy around normalized. What did it say in the normalized number? Did it give you? That was 107. So I hit it way too hard. Okay. So let's go for normalized 95. Okay. Hit it nicely. I break the baffle in the net. Go. Oh, so that ridge is tough. That ridge is a nightmare. That's the shot, though. Nasty pin. You'd have to, in fact, That's fly off the green. it. Yeah, you'd have to fly it past the pin, wouldn't you? That's incredible. You got your green speeds on too high. <laughs> <laughs> Did that that landed just so it's got to be long and right. Yeah. Okay, this is my final attempt, because that's as good as I can do. Flushed it. Spin. Spin. Oh, it's nice. Okay, so that's... That's nice. How many feet from the pin? Does it tell us that? Oh, yeah, it will do, yeah. Yeah, Let's I'll tell see, you in the table. Yeah, in the table here, you are... You've got 18 feet. Okay. It's so about as good as you can do. Yeah, it's my absolute best effort. And that took, that took the most spin. That was just over 10. Yeah. Higher launch angle, came in a little steeper. So that's what's required to zip the ball yeah. when it's downwind. But even, even on, on the higher launch, higher spin, because of that wind flattening the, the, the trajectory out, so yeah. you could only get it to 72 feet, you were still coming in 20 degrees shallower. That's crazy. With way more loft. With way more loft. Eight degrees more loft. Yeah. So, you know, understanding what this, how this applies to your game, mm. you, really, you really have to go out uh, into into the golf course, take some golf balls. I mean, we're not going to be popular with the superintendents for saying this, no, the greenskeepers, true. but you really want to th hit into some flags and go, okay, if I hit this trajectory, what happens? Look at where your ball lands versus yep. where it goes, you know, and, and figure these things out. And know your golf course, because if you play a soft golf yep. course, which a lot of us do, especially because it rains every day here, but yeah. you may have to hit a completely different shot than that. Because a landing angle that's steep, you might get away with it if Definitely. the greens are soft, but you're not getting away with it here, that's for exactly. sure. Exactly. Exactly. So understanding what the, the value of that wind does mm. um, in terms of the increased uh, or sorry, increased hurt versus the, the little help. Because uh, what did that last one, did it, did it, what did it say in GC 94. Quad? Right. So it only helped you 10 yards. Yep. That's exactly what we said. It is exactly what you it's, said. It's, it's, it's 20 yards of hurt. It's 10 yards of help. That's just about that what worked that worked out. Yeah, you're right. It worked out exactly that way. Yeah. Very so, interesting. I mean, and we would obviously love to do this test outside. We, we had planned to be doing that by now, but... We will eventually. <laughs> we will eventually, yeah. yeah. It's four degrees and pouring rain today, so... But this is good. It's fun to see the exact numbers, same conditions, and kind of get the idea of what you have to hit in these exactly. different situations. Exactly. The value is in the, the sort of the, the tech or the theory of, of behind what we're testing, and, it, and it's exactly right. Awesome. Um, that was fun. Yeah. I think these things are, 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 they have so much value in the real world. Uh, you know, the application yeah. of these theories, there's, there's so much value to them, Matty. I Absolutely. mean, you know, even, even playing around this stuff with your, with your own game is, as you uh, sort of progress to, to being a plus handicap golfer, things like this is, oh, is what huge. allows you to score when it's very windy. That's, and that's what really good players do. Like most people will go out if it's windy, cold yeah. and such, they'll yeah. have a really bad day relative. They'll yeah. shoot way higher than usual. But guys who really know mm. their yardages know how to take less loft yeah. or more loft when needed and hit the right shot. And just, you know, keep hitting greens. That's, that's the difference. People just hitting greens on a consistent mm. basis. Um, we will further this test on with how the golf ball reacts and, and the type of golf ball. Yeah, Once sure. we get outside, yeah. we, we want to do a, a series specifically on the types of golf balls that and, and what they do because most of you guys um, with the best will in the world are not able to spin it as much as, as, as Matt yeah. does. We're gonna, try, we're gonna try some lower spin balls that, yeah. that show you what the shot is required when you have less spin, I guess, Correct. how you have to hit it higher to stop it faster. Mm -hmm. So there'll be, I, I think, as we said, this is purely introductory, I think. Yeah. Um, good way to start, but we'll get outside, change golf balls. I think it'll be fine to start hitting balls with the rough. Yeah. Uh, a little moisture on the ball in the fairway, all that kind of stuff. That, that be stuff's good. That'll stuff. be great. Yeah. That'll be great. Get, Get a little Bryson DeChambeau out I there. know, I know. Measure your milliliters and... That's it. All right. Okay, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this little bit of a different one for us, and we enjoy doing these fun. ones. Yeah, yeah like they're, they're, they're good. I think they're informative and invaluable beyond our usual kind of club review stuff. Definitely. I think uh, 
I think we'll, we'll, there's more of this to come, isn't there? Tons more to come, yeah, yeah absolutely. Good. Excellent. All right, thanks for joining us. We'll see you again soon. Thank you.